You know, there's two great questions. And you have to do these analysis as well as reporting. You know, one of the old tricks is Delay it, delay it, delay it. Uh, Bill Clinton would have been in much worse sh bad shape in early 98 than he was later in 98 when I found out all the truth came out about him and Monica. But sometimes an argument, when you put it off and put it off, it's a powder keg when it explodes. If they hold off that report, hold it off for a couple of weeks, a month or so, and it does come out and shows that there's so much spin on what Mueller, uh, that Barr put on that, the attorney general, that it wasn't the truth, that he looks like a liar. Uh, that's not going to help this president. Well, no, I mean, that's the problem. It's not just the, oh, pardon me. No, no that's it's, the problem with the perception me. here. That is the issue, is that Barr looks like, you know, he's the president's guy. I mean, because Mueller, the person there to prevent all of this political wins, didn't make the call. The interesting thing here on the analogy to Comey is that Nadler did not like Comey's press conference. He did not like the disclosures that Comey made then because he said, look, if you're not bringing criminal charges. I, by the way, I agree with him. I agree with Nadler. If you're not going to prosecute, keep quiet. But the question That's here. That's your job. But the question here now is that is Congress, the Justice Department has decided not to prosecute the president, but all the documentation is now going to go to the Hill? Well, that's a great question. Here's what Comey said about Mueller's decision not to seek conspiracy charges related to collusion. The language was pretty clear. There was nothing between this campaign and Russia. So on that basis, should he be breathing a, a sigh of relief? I don't know that I read the letter from the attorney general that way. I read him as saying the special counsel didn't find that the evidence established that there was any conspiracy between an American and the Russians. What other evidence there is, what evidence there might be that falls short of that standard, I have no idea. Established is the word that you're honing in on there? Correct. And so I don't know what the special counsel found. And I'm prepared, I hope everybody is, to wait and get the transparency that we need. Cynthia, how about some consistent justice here by the justice people? It seems to me that a lot of people I know were very upset, and I thought so reasonably, that when Comey came out and said he wasn't going to charge a candidate, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, on those email matters, and he kept talking and said, but she was really bad, and she did bad things, and basically put some tar on it. He put some, he, he put some stain on her. And this time around, people are going, right. well, why did he make a call on whether to prosecute or not and not do his job and then go quiet? Because this time he said, I'm not exonerating him. Well, what's that mean for a prosecutor? I thought a prosecutor's job was to prosecute or not. It definitely is. And that, so that's definitely true when it comes to the decision and any decisions about Don Jr. or Ivanka or anybody who else who could have been prosecuted. And Mueller has declined to prosecute. And so he should we should not. We should not be getting a discussion about their behavior. The president is in a different position, though, because under the, the Department of Justice regulations, he could not have been prosecuted as a matter of regulation. So the only option really was for Mueller to give that you know, in, give to the information there. and give it to you House know, uh, Barr, in his letter, contradicts what you just said. He said, we did not go by those guidelines. Well, that's what Barr says, but what we don't yeah, well, know okay. is what You're saying Barr's said. lying? That's the whole point. That's what we need to is know. Is Barr lying? I'm saying Barr has spun, I'm saying he has spun this as well as he can for the president. And let me just say this about Mueller coming up to the Hill right away. I'm all for that because I want to hear what he says because I trust him. Um, but he has the same 6C problems right now that Barr has. And that has to be resolved before he can testify. Additionally, if they want to ask him questions about the conspiracy question, He's got counterintelligence issues. So it's not as easy as we're going to slap a subpoena on Mueller. There are a lot of things that have to happen before he can speak freely uh, to the House Judiciary. And uh, if it's completely doable, you can get a court order. I mean, there, there's lots of things to do, but it's not just something simple. And I don't want people to get that impression. Well, the Democratic answer here is we want the truth and we want the information as soon as possible. And the right. American people are going to have to make some of the judgment here themselves. And the one way they can make the judgment if they see this report. U.S. Right. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, it's always an honor to have you on of Texas. Michael Schmidt, of course, Cynthia Axley and Heidi Presley for that great reporting for us that the Democrats aren't going to wait for Barr. Because hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.